I want to start by asking you about your big concern for 2024. When you look at this year, we're reading some people say this is the most consequential political year in many of our careers. How? What's the most important thing you're looking out for this year, Farid? Well, unfortunately, I have to confess, Rahul, that the biggest challenge of 2024 is going to come not from an election in some third world country, you know, that's battered and dysfunctional. It's going to come from the American elections. Uh, because it is in many ways a pivotal election because Donald Trump has a very good chance of winning. And the reason uh, I think that people should understand the, the, the stakes is that I know, I know sometimes there are people in India who find Trump fascinating and even admirable because he's funny and he's clever and he's charming and he has a certain kind of populist flair that in some ways uh, some, you know, some Indians like. The big danger for, of Trump, I think, actually, globally, is that he fundamentally wants to withdraw America from the world. He wants to, he, he wants to essentially turn his back on a role that America has played in the world since 1945 as the ultimate guarantor of security in Europe, as the ultimate guarantor of security in Asia. If he does that, I think you are going to see very, very large uh, consequences. Look at the Middle East to give you an example. Why is the Middle East in flames? The Middle East is in flames right now because the United States over the last 15 years has been withdrawing from there. And instead of arriving at some wonderful stable balance, you know, the horrible imperialist is gone. Actually, what's happened is a power vacuum has developed in the Middle East. Uh, regional players are jockeying for influence, largely Iran versus Saudi Arabia. In the midst of all that contest, Iran moving, pressing forward through the Houthis, through Hamas, through Hezbollah, through the Iraqi militias, the Israelis got, got uh, rattled. The Gulf Arabs got rattled. They got together. That then outraged the Palestinians who blew, and, and Hamas blew the whole thing up. So you see how the absent, the withdrawal of American power leads to an enormous amount of geopolitical tension, jockeying for power. Now imagine that happening on a larger scale in Asia, where there are seven or eight very powerful countries all jockeying for influence. That's why I worry. The United States has been playing a role of stabilizing the world. If Trump pulls us out from that, uh, it will be a, it, 2025 onwards, it'll be a hell of a ride. <music>